Hello everybody, Jess here with Key Tarot. I'm gonna do a real quick general reading, not zodiac sign specific. Let's say a quick blessing and we will find out who it's for and what it's all about, all right? Holy Spirit, thank you so much for being with us here today and in every single breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them, amen. All righty, I... I'm gonna start with the Star Power Tarot. Hope you guys are doing well. All of a sudden, I'm really excited. Um, I hope you're doing well. It feels like somebody's about to get something that they deserve in a good way. Like I have the Six of Pentacles there with the Judgment card next to it. It feels like finally somebody's getting what what they have earned. Very good. Um, this can be um, in friend groups. This can be in love relationships. This can be financially. This can be at work. Um, but it just feels like finally being recognized for all the good that you do or finally being compensated for as hard as you work or it could be both. Um, it can be finding a requited love situation that you have been in search of in some way with, with someone who gives you back as much as you give to them. I don't know. Let's find out. I got the three of cups in the reverse for your first card out. Really? Okay. Well, let's talk about that. So the three of cups in the reverse um, for modern day tarot card readers typically indicates a third party situation or an affair situation. Three of cups in the reverse can end. It can, it can indicate a lack of reconciliation or it can indicate um, something that stands between you and another significant partner in some way. I have the chariot that comes out on its side there crossing the three of cups. This is someone who may be in the midst of a third party situation and trying to decide what it is they wanna do, um, whether they're gonna stay, whether they're gonna go. The chariot is an energy of um, packing your bags and moving on out, but it's an energy of, it's different than that. Like it's a very similar energy to the six of swords where we talk about relocation, but the chariot, the chariot card is a larger sweeping energy. It's something that's a bigger deal to you than just packing your bags and moving on out. It's an energy of, Am I going to choose to leave all of this behind for something else? Am I going to choose to move forward? I have the Knight of Cups here, uh, honestly, and, and I have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So I've got two Knights here, um, one in the reverse and one in the upright position. Um, mm, mm, mm. So... Knight of Cups is someone who is offering you love and it feels like this is someone that's coming towards you. This person may be what this um, Three of Cups in the reverse is about. Now this Knight of Swords in the reverse energy, it, this feels like whoever I'm talking to here because you're checking yourself. You're like, yes, all this love is coming towards me. Yes, this is a new opportunity for love. Um, but this Knight of Swords in the reverse is someone who's checking themselves um, for being impulsive. This is checking yourself for whether or not you're thinking things through before you make whatever this decision is. And with the Knight of Swords in the reverse, this is someone who doesn't feel like they can express themselves. They don't feel like they can um, say the truth about what they're feeling, what they're going through. This is something that someone's probably hiding. Yeah. Oh boy. Now I have the Queen of Cups that comes out on its side. That's Cancer, P Pisces, Scorpio, Feminine Energy. This is someone who has seen something that they want, but they're very cautious because they're feeling emotional right now. This is someone who's saying, is this something that I want to do because of the way that I'm feeling? Is this something that I want to do because... Um, is this a feeling that's going to be lasting? Or is this something that's going to be fluid and changeable? The Queen of Cups is usually very nurturing. They are full of unconditional love. They understand what it takes to make a love relationship work and they give 110% of their heart and of themselves. When this person comes out on their side like this, this person's questioning everything that they ever thought love ever was before. And now they're saying, well, this has been dropped off in my lap. This new love opportunity has been dropped off into my lap, but Unfortunately, you it looks like you're with someone else or this other person is with someone else. 
The Queen of Cups, if they come out on their side or in the reverse, they can be overly emotional. And I think you're trying to be cautious of that. Mm -hmm. It should be noted too that on this Queen of Cups, there are martini glasses all over her skirt and, and her hair and, and like a hair barrette. Um, this person may be over drinking a bit right now. I have the Six of Wands in the reverse. Um, whoever's going through this, if this is your reading, there's this real fear of what other people are going to say, what your family or your friend group is going to say about this situation. There's an energy of being fearful that um, you're throwing things away or that um, other people are going to judge you harshly for the choice that you're making here. And I, I'm going to get deeper into this in a second because there's a reason why this Three of Cups energy is being pulled in here for someone there's a reason why this new option or opportunity is coming towards someone. And there's a reason why someone is feeling very cautious about it. I have the judgment card. It's like time is up. Now is the time to make a decision about this. This is probably happening in real time as we speak, honestly. Um, the judgment card is the energy of a wake-up call. It's when the switch is flipped and you see things for what they really are and you decide who you want to be and what you want to do with your life and who you want to see yourself become. That's that judgment energy. It's an energy of um, understanding. However, specific to this um, star power tarot, as you can see, she's removed a mask from her face. The he, she, whoever. Um, has removed this mask over here, right? And they're looking at it and they're looking at everything that they thought they were, who they believed themselves to be. And now all of a sudden they're seeing, you know, that was just a mask I was wearing. What's actually underneath that? And I have the world card out on top of that. Kids, these are big, heavy energies, okay? Um, you've got the chariot, you've got the judgment card, and you've got the world card. That's a lot of major arcana in this little bit of a reading that we've done so far. And these cards are very significant. The judgment card is the number 20. The world card is the number 21. This person recognizes that the days are numbered for them in the space that they're in right now. They have to make a decision. They are going to have to make a choice with this three of cups in the reverse. With this knight of cups, someone has come in. They've offered you this opportunity for love. Everything looks good. You're feeling all these feels but in your head you're thinking is this a bad choice are people going to judge me harshly is my family going to be upset with me are my friends going to be upset with me can I actually move into this space who am I really who do I want to see myself become and with this world energy this is somebody who recognizes they are at the precipice of a new beginning and a final ending both things at the same time it's like standing on the edge of a cliff and deciding am I going to dive off down into that or am I going to um, run back onto the to the land behind me. What am I going to do? What what choice am I going to make? The world card is that final card that we get before we wrap back around to the number zero that is the fool card. This person, whoever is going through this, whether this is your energy or whether this is someone close to you, this is someone who's going through a lot and this is someone who's trying to decide what the next five years, seven years, nine years, 12 years of 20 years of their life is going to look like and they're trying to decide right now. This is heavy stuff. Alrighty, let's get another deck and clarify further because I just want to know, want to know. Let's, um, let's use this Tarot of Wonderland here. I have the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This is somebody who's very worried about upsetting someone else. Um, and I've got the Chariot right there on the other side again in the upright position. And I got the Four of Wands out there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this aside and just real quick, like that chariot twice out like that, that's the card of cancer, but it's this card of moving forward. And now we have you in the upright position. It feels like whoever I'm reading for, you're about to make a decision. You're about to make a very serious decision about what you want to do. Hmm. Big stuff. Now with this four of wands, this is an interesting energy to have right behind this chariot. This Four of Wands is that Twin Flame 1111 Awakening card. This is somebody who is experiencing a spiritual awakening, 
okay? And that's why we have these heavy energies. That's why we have someone who's been presented with something that's thrown their life um, kind of upside down with this world energy and that Three of Cups and that Knight of Cups. Um, and this is somebody who's all of a sudden seeing themselves differently for the first time in a long time. This Four of Wands can be a divine counterpart coming towards you. And this can also be the energy of stability in your life. And it's you so I'm, I'm looking at the house of cards that's behind this person right there's this person is looking at what has been real in their lives and what has been this mask that they've been wearing for so long right this person is looking at what is actually a foundation that's built upon a stable foundation and what is not right and this person is um seeing themselves clearly for the first time in a while the good the bad and the ugly of themselves and there is, um, there's an excitement to this energy that's coming towards someone with this Knight of Cups, but there's a real heaviness to it as well. I have the hangman in the reverse. This is a timing issue, and, and I'm hearing like time is up. That's what that judgment energy is. The judgment card for me is like when the alarm clock goes off, right? It's that wake-up call. It's like it's time to make a choice. It's time to get out there. It's time to do something because we're wrapping things up here. This hanged man in the reverse is someone who's been waiting on somebody else to make the decision for them. Um, if you're in a third party situation, you may have been waiting on this other person to come to you with their hands open and say, yes, I'm ready, I'm all in. And that may be what's happening for someone here this week, possibly even right now. And that's what's caused this conundrum. I have the sun card that comes out there on its side too. Um, the sun card is the card of divine masculine. It's the card of Leo. It's very heavy yang energy. It's really the happiest card in the deck. It should be. It comes out on its side over here next to this chariot energy. This is somebody who feels like if they make this move, if they make this transition or this change and they move towards this knight of cups energy that has indeed, um, you know, offered their heart to someone they feel like it's gonna make them really happy. They feel like there's gonna be a lot of healing that they experience, and you might be right, but this is someone who's not 100% sure. I don't think that this person, it's not that this person isn't 100% sure. Their biggest hang up seems to be this six of wands in the reverse where we have someone who's worried about what other people are going to think where we have somebody who's afraid of failing in some way i have the ace of wands in the reverse this is someone who's afraid of burning their world down this is somebody who's afraid that by making this choice it's going to incite a riot that has never been seen before in your in your town in your family in your life this Ace of Wands in the reverse, see this, huh, I mean, this is like a powder keg, right? This is like an atomic bomb waiting to happen. I have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Um, it's possible that you're not talking to people right now, that you're kind of isolating from other people while you try to make this decision about whatever it is you want to do. With that Eight of Wands in the reverse, you're definitely not talking to the most important people in this dynamic. Eight of Wands in the reverse is somebody who wants to avoid the conversation. They want to have, they want to avoid discussing this. They want to avoid talking about how they're really feeling. This person is ready to go. This person is ready to get in the car and go towards this Knight of Cups energy right now. But this, the only thing that's keeping them back is fear of what other people are going to say. And I mean, that's all well and good. It's good to care about other people's feelings. It's good to, to be thoughtful of that. But at the on the other side, let's look. On the other side, how authentic are you really feeling? I've got the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. This is someone who feels like they've been at a standstill in their life for some time. 
um, whatever this third party situation is that has either come towards somebody or is coming towards somebody. It's like the shakeup that they've been hoping for or looking towards, which I know sounds crazy, but it looks like um, whoever I'm reading for, they've been experiencing a lot of stagnation in their life that's made them feel like they were hardly even living. They were just existing. Um, and all of a sudden there's a change, but it was something that wasn't planned for. No one was expecting this to happen. You were not expecting this to happen. This Knight of Cups wasn't expecting this to happen. I have the Page of Wands now. Um, somebody here is sent some kind of flirtatious, curious message here. It's an instigatory message with this Page of Wands. This is somebody who um, reaches out and nudges you in some way. And I've got the Six of Wands out again. And the Seven of Swords, snap. And I've got the Two of Pentacles here on its side over here by this Eight of Wands. There's somebody here who's feeling like um, one little misstep and everything's gonna fall apart. One little wrong word. If anybody finds out about this, if anybody like uncovers this, um, it's gonna blow, it's gonna blow up. It's gonna be a big problem. With this Seven of Swords over here, this is someone who's been hiding things for a while. Unfortunately, specific to this Tarot of Wonderland, this person has left a trail, possibly a digital trail, um, but this person has left um, some parts behind. They have um, not covered up the whole truth. And it feels like someone's sneaking around here and it hasn't gone completely unnoticed. Um, hmm. I have the Six of Wands out here um, again. So that's the second time out for that. And it's important for you to know that whoever you are, if you're in the midst of this situation, um, the people who love you will always love you. The people who truly, truly love you will always love you. And they're always going to support your happiness as long as it is healthy for you. Um, now, if it's unhealthy, that may be a different story from the people who love you, yeah. But this situation tells me, this these cards are telling me that if this is something you choose to do and you choose to leave behind one partnership in lieu of another that's presenting itself to you and you're very concerned about what other people are gonna think, um, again, the people who truly support you are gonna be supportive no matter what, okay? Has to be said. I have the Four of Swords. This is someone who is about to go into separation with one partner or the other here because there's there's three people involved here. So someone is going to be taking a break from someone else so that they can really think about what it is they want to do. It's an energy of isolation with that Four of Swords. And I have the Three of Cups out again. Um, this is somebody who's pretty much hell-bent on making the choice they're going to make. Um, this Knight of Cups energy is coming right towards you. You're going right towards this person. Um, whatever it is, you didn't expect this. You didn't plan for it. You've been experiencing a lot of heavy self-judgment here. But there's someone here who knows that they're ready to move on from what they've been experiencing for some time. Um, there's a lot of depression that this person has been experiencing in their current relationship they've been in. And there has been... A need for change for sure um do i suggest a third party relationship no i do not two thumbs down for that one zero stars right um however it feels like it's already happened or it's already coming towards you and it feels like this person whoever i'm reading for is cautioning themselves trying not to make a poor choice here trying to make a good decision for everyone involved simply it can't it simply can't be done um, this person's going to have to make a decision, put their big girl panties on or their big boy pants on and make a choice that is authentic to them because it's like time is up. Now is the time that you decide who you are and what you want to be for the future, for the foreseeable future. This person's going to take a break from whoever they're currently with, possibly both of the people they're currently with, um, to really think about what it is they want to do here. Page of Cups. This is somebody who's going to be looking to start something new. And it's, you got a lot of pages here. You got a lot of night energy here. They're very, um, 
immature energies. This is somebody who wants to see where this is going to go. Yeah. And this three of pentacles is somebody who says, you know, I think I can work with this. I think that I can make this work. I think that this is going to be profitable. Now you're going to do what you're going to do. But I, again, just caution you to look at the foundations, the stability of the foundations you're putting into place um, for your past relationships and for this new one that's coming towards you. Where, where is the trust going to be here? What kind of stability are you going to have together? What's that going to look like? How are you going to build this future together in a way that it doesn't fall apart You know, shortly after forming it? But in any case, there's somebody here who's ready to change things. They're ready to move on from something and they're ready to move forward. But they could be a little bit emotionally overwhelmed. And with this seven of cups, this is someone who doesn't feel like they're they're thinking clearly. That's why you're taking this time out with this seven or with this four of swords. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Um, this is somebody who wants to get their head on straight because they just have too many options around them right now. They have too many um, things clouding their judgment, they feel. They need a time out, they feel. That's wise. I think that's wise. Ultimately, we're looking at a separation here that could be um, difficult for someone. And I don't know what who who you're separating yourself from, because like I said, there's not just one person involved here, but it has you removing yourself from one of these options. One of these, one of these options will no longer be part of your equation. And I think that's kind of what you're hoping for. I hope, think you're hoping for clarity there. have the tower moment though good heavens there it is that tower moment is that shock and awe moment where we could have some kind of major event where this lid is blown off this story and it sure does throw things into a state of chaos for sure that we have to pick up the pieces from if it hasn't happened yet it's on its way towards somebody and I, if this is your reading, you'll know it. All right, because it's pretty clear here. Um, this tower is going to be a major, a major, a major event. Fireworks. Hold on, let me just real quick. Hold on, let's see. I think somebody's going to regret how this situation comes to light if they're not careful. I think it's going to happen no matter what. I have the Ten of Wands. You were like, it's bound to happen. It was bound to happen. With this Ten of Wands, like something had to happen. Otherwise, this zombie princess was going to burn the whole town down. You know, um, it, something had to end here. Something had to give. So, and it looks like it has. Um, the, the Ten of Wands is like so much emotional overwhelm. So much that you just can't help but explode in some way. Same with that tower. We have the Two of Cups that comes out in the reverse here and the Fool card. So we do have one of these partnerships ending. We have one that ends in a dissolution, right? And we have the Fool card here, which is somebody who starts something new. Again, the Fool is the number zero. That's what I was talking about that comes right around after the world, right? So we have a final ending for a new beginning. Yes, but with this Two of Cups in the reverse, this is somebody who has to recognize that they have to let one thing go before they can move on to something else. And they feel like this new opportunity is going to be it for them. And I don't know. You might be right. But in any case... We got a tower that's about to happen. We have a need for real honesty here because whatever this Seven of Swords energy has been trying to keep under wraps, it does feel like the lid is about to be blown off the whole situation. And it feels like divine timing. It really, really does. Um, it's a wake-up call for somebody and there's going to be a brand new beginning. 
all right? An ending and a new beginning. All right, there you are. Thanks for letting me read for you. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I will catch up with you soon. Much love.